It's 4.30 in the morning, and Jorge Santiago is going to work. Jorge had moved back to his hometown of Comeria, Puerto Rico, to start a church. But that was before Hurricane Maria destroyed most everything. Now Jorge gets up early every morning to set up a free community laundromat. The idea of the watcher's machine came from our own uh, need. We didn't have any electricity and uh, we didn't have any water. Uh, watching clothes for us was really tough. And that was exactly what people was experiencing here in Comerio. Starting up a laundromat right after the hurricane took several miracles. First, Jorge found money to buy washing machines. Then Southern Baptist churches got together with a ministry called Send Relief, and they helped Jorge get a hard-to-find generator. He needed that for electricity. Then, his old elementary school in Comerio gave him a place to set up. When I get here in Comerio in the mornings, I have to make sure that everything is ready to start the operation for the day. And then, we open for the community to do laundry Monday to Friday from 7 in the morning to 5 p.m. So I'm always tired. <laughs> if you've ever done laundry, you probably know after you put clothes in the washer, there's not a whole lot to do. So Jorge got to talk with hundreds of people. He told them all about how Jesus loves them and how even after the hurricane, Jesus wants to give them a new life. We share the gospel and pray with so many people uh, at the watcher machine area. I didn't expect that was going to happen. We were just trying to help the people. But since we are following Jesus, following God on this, He was leading us and guiding us to the right place. People started to pray, and people started to tell Jorge they wanted to follow Jesus. But other people were watching too. And when they came to Jorge with the next call for help, laundry was just the first of many rare and unexpected sights in Comerio.